So I wanted to talk about my art style, which is, I feel like it's pretty much non-existent right now. I'm in the happy, curious about everything stage. And I do not know if it needs to change. I think at some point it does. It, at some point I need to make my work very recognizable. People look at it and they think, oh, this is Nikki. But right now I want to keep my options open. And I also think that my work is recognizable because I do have a certain style of aesthetics and I have my favorite colors that I just naturally gravitate towards. I have been struggling a little bit with this because for the longest time I thought I don't want to post anything, I don't want to post pictures or videos about my art because I don't have a coherent style and then I realized it's really nice when you don't have it because so many times I see artists with a lot of experience behind them and then their brain just kind of got wired into one thing. I do not want to lose my full-on creativity, I don't want to lose my creative spectrum, if you will. So I thought I'm gonna show you some of my very favorite paintings in very different styles. Let's start with this one. This was inspired by a picture that I found in a blog called Wit and Whimsy by Megan Donovan. I could identify with that picture so much because this is me in a picture. This is on my wall hanging and I look at it almost every day and it makes me feel so happy. I will cherish this forever and ever. Okay, the next one is a bit similar. This one was inspired by someone's kitchen and if you know whose kitchen it is, please let me know because I absolutely forgot and I cannot find it since then. I just really love this scene and this is made of oil paint. Before this I only did very serious style realism oil paintings and in my head I was kind of wired to do those oil uh, paintings and I thought why would I not take oil paint that I love to use and make something that's very calm but still happy and cheerful and I would love to be in this kitchen so much. This somehow took me forever to make and I really like the process but I don't know if I would want to continue with this style but you never know i like at this moment i feel like maybe i want to make another one like this i love this view so much now to my jungle era this was a painting that i made really fast in like half an hour i finished it and i just feel so good when i look at this i feel so inspired i feel like the color choices that I made are just gorgeous, in my opinion. It's really not a complicated painting, it's really not a complicated piece, but when I painted this, it felt like something clicked. Like I found a certain style that I would really want to go for. And you know what, with this painting you can really see my color palette is really similar with all of it. I really like warm tones, I like pinkish, um, orangish pastel stuff and green. I like to bring in nature. So I really love this painting. It also hangs on my wall. And then there's this guy. I still haven't finished it. I made a video about um, painting this and I don't know what to do with it. But somehow the background makes me feel so good. It's again, it's not a complicated piece. This was just supposed to be a little trial and error. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna finish this. I've been talking in the last five minutes with the camera off, so let's do it again. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. Um, it might just be a nice little reminder for me that you don't need to complete everything always. There's no need to go any further than this necessarily. It can just be a fun little time that I had and a reminder of that. Why not? The next favorite painting is this one. I painted this 
It's actually dusty. I painted this a couple of weeks after I moved to a new country, into a new flat, with no friends or no, no social circle whatsoever. I felt kind of lost and I actually wanted to paint the, the feeling that I had in me with just staring out the window, feeling a bit lost, just not really knowing what's gonna happen now. And this originally was a much more realistic painting, but that just didn't feel right. That didn't translate my feelings. One night I just looked at it and I started to put wiggly lines this is a piece that 100% fully transmits the feeling that I had and captures that moment in my life. Feeling a bit lonely, a bit lost, hopeful for the future, having some type of calmness in me and I just love it that whenever I look at this painting I can, I can fully feel that moment in my life and I think that's just very special. This one is a pretty new one and I like this one. This is not my favorite. I used to paint a lot of fruits with oil paint and I don't have them anymore, but I'm gonna put them up so you guys can see it. I really loved it. There is something about having like this set object, very simple vibe, um, kind of over dramatizing that fruit. And I think I'm definitely going to go back to that and explore it a bit more and maybe mix it with a bit more of a fantasy world. But this one's just very cute. I really like it. On to my two new favorite paintings. There's this one and this one. With this too, I took a very different approach. I used to want to kind of get out of the norm and just make something very unique. And with these ones, I really went for enjoying myself. Nothing else, no other goals, just having fun colors, having bold colors. When I was painting both of these, I didn't really know where it's going. I knew that it's going to be a floral arrangement, I was looking at some reference pictures of flowers, but I really wanted to take this approach of I'm just gonna do painting very simply and have some part where I can put a message in but I didn't know what the message was. I didn't know how this painting is going to make me feel. And so I waited until the very last minute and I just fully gave myself to the process. And at the end, there was always a clear message that I feel like I learned from it. Well, Suck It Up definitely represents this kind of complaining thoughts that I had throughout making this painting. And I thought, man, you just need to suck it up, you just need to kind of get over this and stop complaining to yourself. And then I had this really beautiful change of perspective, thinking whatever happens to you, if it's really hard, if it's really stressful, somehow I can take really nice inspiration from that and I can learn so much from that and it just makes me appreciate my life so much more and I thought it's such a nice thing and also because the flowers are sucking up this nutritious water from the waves and I thought it's just such a beautiful message on it and why not again I was doing this piece, I was having the time of my life and then with the background I got very stressed out. I didn't know what color to choose and then I just chose purple and I never do purple and I was like wow that's so amazing and I chose purple with the idea oh why not it's not like it's the most important piece ever so that again taught me such an important lesson like just don't be afraid to go out and do your stuff because why not? <laughs> So again, these paintings, I really love the approach that I'm taking with them because the emphasis is really on what I learned while doing it. Letting myself just be in the moment, think about things that are in my head and feel all the feelings that I have. And I think it's just so beautiful when you can actually do that. A lot of times when I um, plan a painting, it just 
It can be very satisfying, but it gives a very different satisfaction. Maybe the use of my technique satisfies me, maybe the end result satisfies me, but I don't necessarily learn so much about myself and about my feelings. Yeah, these were some of the paintings I wanted to show. Let's get back to life now. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what you guys think about having a certain art style. I feel like I can see my personality going through these paintings, no matter of the style. So I think that's probably like a nice thing because you want your personality to be represented in your pieces. Uh, I don't know if I should choose a certain one at some point. You know, I'm gonna go and have fun with all of these things and Maybe one day there's gonna be such a passion in me for one certain style that I will have this crazy craving that cannot be fulfilled. But for now I am just going to go with the flow, paint whatever I feel like. I think the next one is definitely going to be self-portraits of certain kinds. I think I'm going to like fill it out, do acrylics, do oil, do some serious ones, some funky ones, and we'll see how it turns out. We'll see. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.